Greetings to all on the channel Forgotten Legends. Today we are talking about the legendary Swedish midfielder who despite only having a couple of seasons at the top level was one of the key players in the tough Parma. At one time he was one of the best but unfortunately injuries destroyed his career. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Brolin. Per Thomas Brolin was born on November 29, 1969, in the east of Sweden, in the small town of Hudiksvall, with a population of only 15,000 people. Thomas is a graduate of the Nasvikens IK club. He made his professional debut at the age of 14 in 1984 in the Swedish 4th division against Kilafors. In just two seasons for the club, he played 36 matches in which he scored 10 goals. In 1986, he was enrolled in the football academy of the club GIF Sundsvall. He made his debut in Allsvenskan Swedish top division in 1986 in a match with IF Elfsborg. In total he played 55 matches for Sundsvall in which he scored 13 goals. Later he moved to IFK Norrköping where he scored 7 goals in 9 matches in a half of the season. The then coach of the Swedish national team Ole Nordin looked closely at Berlin's talent because in Sweden, which had just qualified for the 1990 World Cup, there were problems with the central striker because in the qualification they scored only 9 goals in 6 matches. Berlin made his debut in the match with Wales, coming on as a substitute with the score 0-1 in favor of the Welsh. In 6 minutes Berlin scored 2, putting the Swedes ahead in the match the Swedes won 4-2 and Berlin strengthened himself as the main attacking force of the team at the upcoming World Cup. At the tournament itself, the Swedish national team lost all three matches but Berlin, after scoring against Brazil, was bought by Parma for 1.2 million pounds, which is approximately 3 million pounds in today's exchange rate. In the very first season, Berlin formed an effective link with Alessandro Melli, scoring 20 goals for 2. Melli scored 13 goals and Berlin scored 7. Parma finished 5th in Serie A and qualified for the European tournament for the first time in their history. The following season, 91-92, Berlin played all 34 league matches for Parma, scoring 4 goals. Parma then finished 6th in the championship and won the Coppa Italia by beating Juventus 2-1 in the final. Berlin scored two goals in that draw with Fiorentina as well as the winner with Sampdoria in the semi-finals. At Sweden's home Euro 1992, Berlin entered the tournament top four scorers sharing the lead with Henry Larsen, Dennis Bergkamp and Karl Heinz Riedle. At that Euro, the Swedes won their group but lost to the Germans in the semi-finals with the score of 3-2. In the 92-93 season, the club signed two foreigners, Colombian Asprilla and Argentinian Sergio Berti. Three foreigners were already playing in the club at that time. Brazilian goalkeeper Claudio Tafarel, Belgian defender Georges Grun and Thomas. In Serie A, there was a limit on three foreign players at the same time on the field. Because of this, Berlin spent most of the season on the bench, with the then Crusaders coach Nevio Scala favoring the Melli Aspia pairing in the center attack. Berlin's favorite number 11 was given to Aspia and Thomas came out with number 9 or 8. That season Parma took the Cup Winners' Cup by beating Antwerp 3-1 at Wembley in the final. In the next season Gianfranco Zola and Massimo Crippa came to the club from Napoli, which made the competition for the forward position even greater. Nevio Scala then decided to pull Berlin into a playmaker position, with Gabriele Pin and Massimo Crippa on the flanks, and the Aspria Zola were in attack. Berlin began to wear number 7, which Alexandro Melli used to wear. At Parma, Berlin was in the best shape of his career. The 1994 World Cup was the tournament of life for Thomas, because it was on it that he became a legend. Despite the talented generation, the Swedish national team was not among the favorites. In the first match, they scrapped out a draw with the outsider of the group, Cameroon. In the second match, the Swedes rehabilitated themselves by defeating Russia.
Russia 3-1. Brolin had a good match scoring from the penalty spot. In a match with the future winner of the tournament, Brazil, Sweden got a draw with a score of 1-1. Brolin in that match gave an assist to Kenneth Anderson. Sweden advanced to the playoffs from second place with 5 points. In the 1-8 match, Sweden got into the national team of Saudi Arabia. In that match, Brolin did not score with goals, but he always created a danger on the opponent's gates. In one quarter of Sweden, the Romanian team got caught, which had previously knocked out Argentina with Gabriel Batistuta. By the way, if you have not watched the video about Batistuta yet, the link will appear in the upper right corner. In the match against Romania, Brolin scored his legendary goal. Sweden then passed Romania on penalties. In the semi-finals, Sweden fell on Brazil, losing to them with the score of 0-1. In the match for third place, Sweden defeated Bulgaria 4-0. Berlin scored a goal and made two assists. On November 16, 1994, Berlin broke his foot in a Euro 1996 qualifier and was sidelined for more than six months. On May 7, 1995, Berlin, a week after returning from injury, played a match against Iceland, even scoring a penalty, but was unable to help the national team in that campaign. In the 94-95 season, due in large part to the absence of two of the main players, Berlin and Zola, Parma lost the championship race. In the 95-96 season Parma signed the Ballon d'Or uh, winner Christo Stoichkov from Barcelona. Berlin was in poor physical shape and made only a few appearances in the first half of the season. In the winter transfer window, after five years in the camp of Crusaders, Thomas decided to leave in order to get more playing practice. In the winter of 1995, Berlin moved to Leeds United signing a 2.5 year contract. Thomas made his uh, Premier League debut against Newcastle United, coming on a as a substitute in the 83rd minute instead of Mark Ford. Thomas scored his debut goal against Sheffield Wednesday. After losing 5-0 to Liverpool, Leeds manager Howard Wilkinson criticized Brolin and told him he needed to lose weight. On April 1, 1996, Brolin joked badly that he would spend the next season on low at Norrköping. The English media took this joke as a fact and Brolin had to apologize. He played his last match of the season at Stamford Bridge assisting Gary McAllister. Despite this, Leeds lost 4-1. In the off-season, Leeds announced that they were going to sell Brolin for 2 million, while at the same time having bought for 4.5. It was all about the high salary of Thomas, 12,000 pounds a week. As a result, he was loaned to Zurich, where he began to receive the minimum wage of 800 pounds a week. For the club, he spent only 4 matches, because after the few months, the new Leeds coach, George Graham, decided to bring him back. Thomas returned to Yorkshire to have his injured ankle examined. After doctors had previously concluded it would be better for him to end his career, it turned out that it was not necessary to finish his career. Thomas paid £5,100 of his money to go on loan to Parma until the end of the season. In the second coming, he spent 11 matches without scoring goals. It was obvious that Parma was not interested in extending Thomas. After that, the English press began to mercilessly criticize him. He trained, played in the reserve squad for Leeds and in parallel was looking for a new club. As a result, Thomas signed a contract with Crystal Palace until the end of the season. During the season, he spent 15 matches at the club without good results. He later joined Hudiksvall's ABK, where he started playing as a goalkeeper. Berlin played uh, his last match in his career against Kiruna FF, coming out for the last 15 minutes as a goalkeeper. In 2001, his girlfriend gave birth to his first son, named Sebastian. The couple broke up before the birth of their second son, but maintained a good relationship. Brolin was married to Miss Sweden Anika Durkmark, but they separated in 2006. After finishing his career, Thomas decided to invest in the business. He owned the Undici Italian Swedish restaurant. He also invested in real estate and vacuum cleaners. He also appeared in the Dr. Alban video. He is also a professional poker player. Thank you for listening to me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe on the channel, press a like and the notification button. Write in the comments who would you like to see the next video about. Take care and watch football. Yo, no, I ain't the
type to give up If I do something, man, I do it till I get what I want I turn a business out of nothing into something I love I got a poker face, but honestly, I'm not one to bluff I flip a switch, never miss, man, I always stay up Don't let them see you